Hello my soapy friends and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Lissa, also known as the Soap Chef on this channel where we make all things with a rather good lather. I've been a maker in this industry for over two decades. We are a 3D bath bomb mold supplier and my favorite products to make, of course, are bath bombs. But that's enough about me. Let's get right into the video. Hey friends, we are back over at Creation Station. I'm gonna throw up another quick video on the foaming soap tablets. I've had an overwhelming response um, to this recipe. It was a free recipe that I uncovered online and then I did a whole bunch of testing for weeks and weeks with a number of different powdered and liquid surfactants. Um, on that note, I use the Caprolil Capril Glucoside because it is highly solubilizing. It's an excellent foaming surfactant. Um, you could also use Deco Glucoside. It has a very low viscosity, but it foams up better than the Cocoa Glucoside. However, that being said, the bubbles do dissipate faster than the Cocoa Glucoside. If you're gonna use the Cocoa Glucoside, um, you're probably going to need a polysorbate 20 or 80 with that. Um, it's really good at removing grease though if you are making these for that purpose and the coco glucoside has a much more stable lather than the deco glucoside but let's get right into this the reason why i'm doing a second video is because we have modified the mold the first mold that we had was not intended um, to make these foaming soap tablets anyhow they were just intended for bath bombs but in working with this and testing everything um, we found that we needed the cylinder to be taller more depth to it and we need the plunger to be longer so that it can push all the way through and pop those right on out rather than the shallow um, it was more shallow on the shell and the plate was the same but the plunger was way more shallow than this and so you could push them down about halfway but then you needed to stick your finger in there and push them all the way through so that's the reason why we have modified this so you should be able to just go ahead and fill this flush to the top brush it off compress it and then go ahead and push the uh, plunger all the way through and then your tablets will come out the back but let's just get started. I wanted this to be a really, really quick mold. When you are making your mix, it's going to appear that it's way too dry and it's never going to hold up and form anything, but I promise you that it absolutely will. This is what it's going to be after all is said and done if you've mixed. Mix it really well with your hand whisk and then get in there with your hands and really mix it well. As far as colorant is concerned, you do not need to add a colorant to this, but if you are going to you, to use a colorant, just do water soluble dyes, which is what I have done. In this particular batch, to get this color of green, I used two grams of my water soluble dye, and this is a 12 ounce batch. All right, let's just get going here, and we're gonna fill this up. So then just go ahead and take your top plunger I am going to go ahead and use my arbor press you do not need to do that I do just because I really like a nice compact tablet in the end if you have the muscle strength to, to do it without it by all means I don't. My shoulders and wrists and everything else just kill me. I'm just doing this because, as you can see, we have holes in the middle. Okay, so your mix is going to get stuck in there. Just give it a couple little taps, top and bottom, just to remove all that mix that's sitting in there. I just go on each individual cavity and just give it a little press with the arbor press again you don't you don't have to do this you can do it with your hands if you've got the muscle power to do so I don't I 
All right, give some taps. Turn it over. All right, just remove this bottom plate. A little bit of a wiggle. There's your tablets. Turn it over, push. Well, if I had the strength to do that, I really don't. My hands, my wrists, my shoulders, I am weak. There we go. Gee, willikers. All right, so here's your tablets. Nice and compact. They're not crumbly. They're not too wet and soggy. It's perfect. Since I have um, offered this recipe to everybody, we have since modified the mold, and that's the reason why I'm doing another video. Because the first video and the first mold, um, it was making around, right, like between a nine and a 10 gram. tablet. And so I wanted everything to be uniform because the recipe is based off trying to make a 10 gram tablet. And another question also is with the preservative. Um, it looks like it's a crap ton of preservative in there. And when you first look at it, it does look like a crap ton. However, um, keep in mind that you're making a concentrated tablet to be dissolved in water. So essentially, you're preserving the water that you are putting the tablet into. Just dump the rest of that on the top there. And I'm just gonna do it flush, just completely flush. All right, let's get our plunger on the top there. No more dust left in the holes. The other mold, um, the first mold, you had to mound up each one of the cylinders. And that can be kind of a pain in the neck because you're really not getting the consistent weight on each one of them, the uniformity of the size of each one of them. So we've just gone ahead and modified it so that'll be easier for everybody. You can just go ahead and push down like this. That's probably going to be easier than trying to struggle the way that I was doing it. Says me. All right, so there's all the tablets. And they just pop right on off. Way easier than the other mold. Again, the other mold was made for bath bombs which is perfectly fine for that purpose. But for these, when you want them to be a little bit bigger and you want, again, you want them to be uniform in size and weight. So. All right, that's coming in at 10.5. Perfectly fine. All right, there you go, you guys.